What's up people? Today we're going to do a short tutorial on how to start a Minecraft server and basically how to port forward. Um, so the first step you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download it from Mojang's website. Um, you go to mojang.com, go to the download section, or Minecraft I guess. You'll want to download the exe file. Come on. Okay. You will click download it here. You will download Minecraft multiplayer server. Minecraft server 1.8.9 is the current version. Go ahead and download that. Run it. Download it to a folder. Run it. It'll set up some files. So now your Minecraft server is set up. The only thing you need to do is port forward. To port forward, go to your search bar. Type command for command prompt. Then you type in I P config. That's I P C O N F I G. And you press enter. Once you press enter, it'll display a bunch of random numbers. And you look for one called the IPv4 address. That is IPv4. Type it into your address bar. Should be something like 192.168.10. Click enter. And it should ask you for credentials. Mine might actually be point one or two or something. Yeah. Username, admin, password. I think it's password. It's the same for everyone. And this is where it's going to look a little different if you're not on neck here. But just look through the settings. Look for an advanced tab or something. Advanced setup. Uh, anything like that. And look for something called port forwarding. Once you get to port forwarding you're going to enter your default gate or you're basically you're going to enter your IP address here which you know go to what is my IP address dot com you'll get it type it in here you're going to add it let's just type in some numbers invalid see if that works there we go and you can see you have a uh, start and end port. You're going to edit it or however your program once you do it. Um, failure. I guess I have to check it, which is odd. You're going to edit it. You're going to change all of these to 25565. That is Minecraft's port. And keep that FTP, TCP. Don't change that any. And once you do that, you, uh, you're good to go. That's all you need to do. So port forwarding really isn't that hard. Um, you just have to get into your router by using your IPv4 and default gateway, which you find by using command prompt. Enter the number here and make your external internal ports 25565. Then once you start a server, you can connect. 